Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the display enclosure. Removal. Remove the retention tape that secures the speaker cable to the display panel assembly. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ripping cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ripping cable. Remove the audio board ribbing cable from the adhesive that secures it to the display panel assembly. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen control board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen control board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Important! Make careful note of the position of the touchscreen control board for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen ZIF connectors on the touchscreen control board. Using a flat-bladed, non-marring tool, carefully remove the touchscreen control board from the adhesive that secures it to the display panel assembly and disconnect the touchscreen ribbing cables from the touchscreen control board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbing cables. Place the touchscreen control board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Remove the touchscreen control board from the static dissipative bag. Insert the touchscreen ribbon cables into the touchscreen ZIF connectors on the touchscreen control board. Place the touchscreen control board into position on the display panel assembly and apply pressure to adhere it into place. Press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Insert the touchscreen control board ribbon cable into the touchscreen control board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Apply pressure to the length of the audio board ribbing cable to secure it to the display panel assembly. Route the speaker cable through the routing channel on the display panel assembly and replace the retention tape. <laughs> 